How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Random Save File here on Absolutely Scripted. We are returning back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance onto our save file 3. The previous run that we did, we did play on Laz, so now we're going to be looking to get a different character this time so that we're not stuck doing the same one over and over again. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and hit start and see where it takes us. And it looks like we're landing on Isaac. A pretty basic run. I don't believe we have D6 unlocked. We do not. Let's go ahead and run right into this cursed room since, of course, we do have the option with all the red health that we have. So what do we actually, before we continue, what do we need to get accomplished? Um, so pretty much the entire card. We have done Boss Rush. We have done Mom's Heart. So both of those are out of the way. Um, I'm not sure if we have Hush Unlocked on this save file yet, but if it happens to come up, I'd love to do it. We can do Cathedral. Um, we can do Shield. I'm not sure if we have the Polaroid or the Negative completed on this file yet. As far as I know, we do not. So that can be something that we can also work towards on this run today. Luckily, because of the, of the nature of, of random save file, um, for the most part, these runs aren't going to be all that bad. Oh, I actually want you to fire a rock at this or fire a bomb at the tinted rock. Thank you. I appreciate it, Wrath. Always love doing business with you. We'll come back for that so hard for the end of the run. We have enough bombs to maybe get to that chest. God's flesh. The only thing it's really good for is that it contributes towards fun guy which is a decent transformation it's a uh, mostly all stats up i'm just not the biggest fan of god's flesh i i just i know they've they've changed it to where it's a little bit better than it used to be but not enough where i'm like excited to see it this should be able to get me access to a card chariot card not too bad They'll help me clear a boss potentially. Ooh, actually, no, I'm gonna use it to get some coins here. See what's in the uh, the store here. There is a soul heart for sale. I might end up making my way to grab that and go ahead and pop the chariot card. Nickel, not too bad. 14 cents in total. I wouldn't mind getting fanny pack um, just because the extra trinket room. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and start with my, or mom's purse, excuse me. You know what? Because we have mom's purse, I am okay with taking tick. Normally, I wouldn't, but having 15% boss health down for every single boss fight, I'm a okay with. I already have 15% of his health gone. Also, if they could find a way to get it to where God's flesh affected bosses, I feel like that would help with how crappy the item is. Because you run into this issue of like, it's a status effect that doesn't do anything for like an entire subset of enemies, being like mini bosses and regular bosses. But then it's kind of useless in my opinion. A cool trip with monster, the cool trick, excuse me, with monsters is if you stay close enough to him, he'll constantly uh, do the small hops, which means he'll be easier to take care of. Safety pin, meh. We are going to buy this soul heart with the five cents we have. We're going to go back for this half a soul heart and this regular soul heart. Again, we're not in a, a big rush just because we already have boss rush done for Isaac on this. So it's not like we absolutely need it. I am hoping that we have it lives unlocked. I can't remember for the life of me if we do. I would be okay with either blood bag or IV bag. Didn't get either, unfortunately. Curse of Darkness on Basement 2. This room, always something. Just the wall of tears that you get shot at you every single time you go to shoot an enemy on this room is so annoying. Although all the poop in here does often give a chance for uh, petrified poop to happen. So that's always a, a trinket I'm willing to get. All right, that's that room done and over with. Destroy all these poops, see if we can get anything good. I'm so glad they changed how Curse of Darkness looks because now for like recordings and streams and stuff, it's so much easier to like see and edit it. Uh, honestly, I'm going to take placebo. If I if I start running into decent pills, I am I would not be opposed to having placebo. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Balls of steel, full health pill, anything like that would be huge to get. I was right seeing that this was a tinted rock. 
ends up being a troll bomb and a regular bomb. What a great tinted rock. End up getting bursting sack, which is okay. All right, let's be smart about this. Hopefully this chest gives us back a bomb and a key. It gives us vibrant bowl, which honestly, not having a pill to use placebo on, I'm okay with getting vibrant bowl. Gives us a little bit of a damage upgrade going into this. All stats up. Luckily, uh, it's early enough in the in the game too. I don't feel like I'm uh, missing out on much either. Larry, again, I'm gonna have God's flesh, and it's just not gonna work. The one thing about Larry Jr. is that you want to be careful uh, accidentally splitting him into multiple parts. If he's one giant snake like this, it's usually just better to make sure that he stays like that. It's funny, his name is Larry Jr., but I don't know if we have like a, a regular Larry. Like a non-Larry Jr. Larry. Uh, now I have to make the hard decision of do I go angel or devil? You know what? I said a second ago that I feel as though my health, like with how much damage I'm taking, I should go angel. So I'm going to opt to skip out on devil and go angel for the rest of this run. I said that I was going to do that, so I'm going to commit. See, what? Uh, I forget retaliatory shots. I was literally just talking about it. That's so annoying. Ugh. So this is why God's flesh isn't that good. Because you, you shrink something down and then nothing happens with it. Because you, you go to cause damage and then the game tells you no, which is really obnoxious. Because you go to walk over targets like I did a second ago and then all it does is takes away uh, half a soul heart you take damage i uh, know i don't know how these enemies would react to god's flesh i'm not really gonna test it my control bomb huh he i actually not he i almost got that around that gap because i shot it and it was bouncing towards me item room is it being tech x all right not too bad of a start we need to find a way to lower my shot speed a little bit I ended up getting a crawl space here that has leech, not too bad. Yeah, I'd like to lower my shot speed a little bit to provide some more consistent damage if possible. So something like blue cap would be insanely good. A tears rate up and lowering uh, my shot speed, I would uh, gladly take it. We're gonna full clear, not necessarily full clear. We're gonna go look for the store before we fight the boss. All right, no way to get into the store. We only have nine cents, so that's not that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and fight the boss, which deck X is gonna do a pretty decent job at taking care of uh husk latch key i got two keys so i think going into the store is now worth it unfortunately did not get the angel deal that time around check out the store ends up having a soul heart which we'll buy and a half price pill let's see what it is uh i found pills okay that does absolutely nothing for us um but it does have it to where i now have a one charge item which i don't remember if that affects the actual like stats increase that is provided via vibrant bulb or if it's just the same across the board it looks to be the same across the board that's good i actually have enough health that i feel comfortable enough going into curse stores or curse rooms especially with us not taking devil deals anymore Oh, and it ends up being packed. That's perfect. Um, that gives me my health back and that damage that I was talking about. Damage and tears up as well as the health that I just lost from going into there. Packed is such a good item. Perfect. We'll move on to the next floor. I'm glad I turned around and grabbed that. It was, uh, it was a good call. All right, caves to... Always, I always love getting tech. Getting tech in my runs always makes me feel great. Just with how good of an item it is. Uh, Hierophants. I'm definitely not running low on health this run. The serious liquid, how to, I don't remember how this works with tech. Okay, it does. Anytime it hits an enemy, it drops. Good enough. Yeah, I can never remember like what synergies uh, work and what synergies don't. I know that sometimes like tech has some weird uh, synergy involvements and all this other stuff. Repentance did a really good job at adding like a bunch of synergies into the game that just weren't here before. I'll go ahead and fight the boss. Good old Gertie. All right. End up getting Jesus juice for damage up, and our angel item ends up being Bible. Um, I'm gonna honestly take Bible over placebo. Um, okay, don't have angel unlocked. Forgot, so that was a wasted bomb. I'm gonna take Bible over placebo for two reasons. One, occasional flight. That that's gonna be helpful. 
And then two, just the insta-kill on mom and mom's heart. I think it's going to be helpful. Um, if I can get the cash, I want more. Actually, you know what? I don't like bombing my sheet. Wow. I don't like bombing my machine on this uh, on this save file, but for the sake of increasing my my chance at winning by getting more options, I think it's worth it. Well, we'll spend some time uh, refilling that machine at some point. I don't really have a reason to full clear anymore. Don't know why I'm doing it. Uh, just for the sake of posterity, I'll finish full clearing and then we'll uh, stop clearing. We did find the curse room though, which I think is worth going into. Zipping a bunch of pills. One makes you larger. Makes you larger. Okay. Wow, Tears up. up uh, hematemesis, which doesn't really do <laughs> much. Having that tears up with placebo would have been really nice, but hindsight's 2020, you know. We'll go ahead and just simply move on to the next floor. You know, I just realized that I could have used Bible to get the access to, to some of those things that I missed. Um, but yep, like I, like I said, hindsight's 2020. I have a temperance car that I'm probably going to look to use here pretty soon. Not really much I could have done there. I uh, just walked into a room and just happened to get hit. I'm going to go ahead and temperance. Go ahead and temperance card in here. A nickel right away. Not bad. A uh, two nickels. All right. Let me go ahead and get rid of all of my red health. I'll be completely honest. Not, don't really need it. Answer trinket. Uh... Having tick actually screws me over here. Man, if I can somehow find smash stick, I will be very, very happy. Because I would like to keep vibrant bulb, but cancer is also just too good of a trinket not to take. Okay, cool. Glad that that was an easy clear. <laughs> Enemy spawns right on top of me. I don't have any knockback because I'm have tech that that's the one time where having tech actually kind of screws you over i could have been screwed Whoa. Uh, oh, i am taking so much damage right now i just took i think two hits in that room i am uh yeah it's starting to look a little rough i just gotta start shooting a little more rapidly here i have no reason to to hold my my stuff as much as i do um Shoot teeth, teeth deal 3.2 damage, 100% chance at nine luck. I don't remember if tough love actually works with this. So I'm just gonna take lost fly for the damage. Let's see what the store is. Of course it's a greed fight. Lost fly putting in work. We get steam sale. We have one more store after this. So maybe we'll get lucky and maybe it'll actually be something that that'll be worth it. I'll go ahead and hit spacebar here for the flight just to play this guy a little bit. We don't have vibrant bulb anymore, so there's really no point in us holding on to our active charge. Another judgment. Okay. Might get lucky with, the, with these two little shits. You're going to rob me blind here, little buddy? Come on, man. I have given you so much cash. I mean, the hearts are going to help me get the money back with the temperance machine. Blue map's kind of meh. I'll take it, though. Guaranteed secret rooms is not too terrible all right cool that was a waste of money at least i got a higher angel chance now all right let's go check out what these dick rooms have to offer right about here this should hit it yeah a bunch of money that sucks that we can't play that guy anymore uh yeah i am a-okay with using my bombs for this i'm out one more time one soul heart that's not a terrible payout. I just realized I don't have any more bombs. So that is unfortunate. Oh, we might actually get matchbook here. Matchbook, matchbook, matchbook. Ah, nah, it's a uh, dinner. I'll take it. Not terrible. And immaculate heart, pascal candle, or circle of protection. I'm going to take immaculate heart for the damage up. I really like immaculate heart. We're just going to go ahead and... Uh... Actually, no, we're not. We're not going to move along yet. There's a demon beggar that's over here that I'm going to play a little bit. See if I can potentially get some stuff back for it. I'm going to play you a few times. Wow, you paid out right away. The nail. I'm going to use it once to give myself that half a uh, soul heart. But I'm going to be honest with you. I think I'm going to stick to uh, the Bible. There's two free kills that I'm going to be able to get in the occasional flight. I think it's just a little more worth it. All right, Curse of Darkness always love to have it 
Ooh, Guppy's head. Um, I'm still gonna stick with Bible. I'm just gonna touch Guppy's head for the transformation piece. Use it for a couple of flies and then move on. Item room pretty early on. Good to see. Uh, accuracy equals power or intruder. As far as I know, accuracy equals power doesn't really work with charge items. So I would rather pick intruder for a little bit of that DPS up. Hope that this one happens to be an actual store. Having Steam sale and 28 cents, uh, kind of a need for it. It ends up being a super greed fight. Of course it does. No biggie. Yeah, we're not going to be able to make hush. So we're not going to have another store to, to play on. But hey, if we somehow end up running into Matt, money equals power, we are set. Move on. Oh, wow. Holy cow. I don't know. Did Leech just give me like 15 health ups there? What the fuck was that? I don't know if y'all saw like the, the, the burst of like animation that popped up there. That was crazy. Okay, two of spades and then two of spades again. Now we have 24 keys. All right, I am gonna go clear two more rooms uh, to try to get my Bible charge because to be honest with you, I wanna, I wanna just an easy kill on mom. I told myself I wasn't gonna full clear, but uh, for the sake of the item that I have, I, I almost have to. I ended up taking damage for it. <laughs> it's just perfect. Empress card, it's kind of nice. Always good to have a little bit of damage in your back pocket. All right, now after all that is said and done, this is gonna be an easy walk in. Press space bar, unlock the halo. Didn't realize I didn't have the halo on this account yet. Um, we don't appear to have the Polaroid or anything like that. Um, which kind of sucks just a little bit. Tears up right here. Wow, you're really getting teared up now. And luck down, okay. Lockdown is, is a bit unfortunate, but no big deal. I think we have hit the tiers cap. Again, I would have loved to have gotten matchstick on the previous uh, floor so that I could have had a little bit more access to uh, better trinkets, but no big issue. I didn't realize that tick also affects all boss entities, not just boss room entities. Hopefully get some more soul hearts. I'd like to protect my devil deal for the chance of getting either Satan or Urshiel or Cathedral. Getting those completions would be nice. Check what's in the secret room. Is up not really being anything I need. Again, all this cash and not really much to spend it on. Okay, a full health pill. Buck down, unidentified. Uh, you had a map. Well, now That's you fine. Don't. Yes, full health, full health. Luck down, unidentified. Jump, it doesn't really okay. do anything. Tears down which I guess I'll just wow, get it back really up immediately. Up now. Okay, two lockdowns and two full healths. I'd like to hang on to my Empress card. Last assist is just gonna get deleted here. I just wish I did a little bit more damage. And hey, speaking of damage, Cat of Nine Tails right away. Puts me at 7.74, which a lot better than what I was dealing with before. Next, Curse of the Blinds doesn't really do anything for me. All right, I have a much higher devil chance this time. So we're hoping for the devil room or angel room for Cathedral or Sheol. Because I don't believe I have like It Lives unlocked yet. So I believe that I'm still limited on what I can and cannot do. I'm gonna make a beeline towards the super secret room because a lot of the time the super secret room tends to be around where the boss is. It's a blue map, albeit not the most necessary item in, in the game, um, still helps at least a little bit. Yep, see boss is right here, right near the super secret. It's not always the case, but a lot of the time it is. Don't really want a, a, any or need any new trinkets. And we didn't get any any additional completions. Man, that's the, one, that's the hard part about this random save file is that you end up contributing a lot of time only to get a few unlocks here or there, but nothing uh, nothing too crazy. Now we're we're stuck with what we got. Um, so I I guess that'll that'll be the end of that run. Do we end up unlock? Okay, a fetus in a jar. So we at least get another one. We got challenge number nine. That's really unfortunate that we didn't get any more completions towards like the Polaroid or the negative. Um, I believe we just got to start throwing our head at it and hoping that we either get characters that don't have those completions done or hope to God that we somehow get enough mom's heart kills that it becomes it lives. But yeah, it's going to be a little bit slow rolling for these next couple of episodes, I think, for random save file until we can start getting some more progression um, outside of it. I was hoping maybe Mama Mega would have been nice for Hush. 
I don't know if blue key is a trinket that just spawns naturally. Uh, otherwise, we would have been able to get hushed that way. And then maybe even, Del I, I think Delirium might have uh, had to wait a little bit longer. But yeah, and then not having Polaroid or negative access kind of sucks because it, it limits us on what we can do. I, I honestly think that that's going to be a good run. And I look forward to the next time that I'm going to be able to throw myself into a random one. With all that out of the way, thank you everybody so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoy the content, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe down below. I want to get as much feedback as I can on this channel to make sure that I'm creating the content that people want to see. If you enjoy my content but want to see something a little more unedited, I do stream over on Twitch. That is twitch.tv slash absolutely underscore scripted. I stream every Saturday and Tuesday. The Saturday streams are usually a drinking game with my wife called Shot Saturday. We mostly do it to Isaac, but we're looking to branch out to other games. I love if you stop by and check out the streams over on Twitch. We'd love to have it. And again, thank you everybody so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Peace.